Right. All right, so it's not particularly newsworthy that you're calling for Snowden to be prosecuted, because we've seen that over the past few days. But to take it another step and say the journalists who publish the information, um, that, you know, the guys who publish what he leaked, that they should face prosecution, that is news. Do you believe that? You stand by that, both Greenwald and the Washington Post reporter? I'm, I'm talking about Greenwald. Uh, Greenwald, not only did he disclose this information, he has said uh, that he has the names of uh, CIA agents and assets around the world, and they're threatening to disclose that. The last time that was done in this country, we saw a CIA station, station sheet murdered in Greece. No right is absolute. And even the press has certain restrictions. I think it should be very targeted, very selective, and certainly a, a very rare exception. But in this case, where you have someone who's disclosed secrets like this and threatens to release more, then that's to me, yes, there has to be legal, uh, legal action should be taken against them. This is a very unusual case with life and death implications for Americans. What, what is the difference between Glenn Greenwald, who broke this story in The Guardian, who is an American citizen, but he's living abroad, and James Rosen and the Associated Press? Well, James Rosen never said he was going to release information that was going to kill Americans. He was never going to disclose the name of CIA agents and operatives around the world the way Greenwald has said that he is threatening to do. That, to me, is a direct attack against Americans, putting American lives at risk, and I just, uh, to me, uh, you know, no right is absolute. And obviously, freedom of the press has to be cherished in this country. But we, in this case, where some people are glorifying Snowden, making him a hero, and now acting as if Greenwald is acting as a legitimate journalist. I mean, just think of uh, June 5th, 1944. And you had somebody threatening to release the date of the D-Day invasion, which would have resulted in the deaths of thousands of Americans. To me, that, that uh, has crossed the line. And also, I think this clearly it does violate the U.S. Code, which talks about you know, releasing classified information. So, uh, you know, there is a law out there. I agree when it comes to reporters. It's used very sparingly and should be. But this is a very unusual case. And I think the whole case, by the way, I, I, it really bothers me seeing so many Republicans and conservatives talking about this being spying and snooping. That, to me, too many Republicans and conservatives have become Michael Moores. And I think it's really dangerous to our country. General Alexander is an American patriot. This program is protecting Americans. I had real-time experience with the Zazi case. I know how many hundreds of New Yorkers that uh, was, uh, had their lives saved because of the NSA program. It was only because of the NSA program that we found out the information with Zazi. I was with Commissioner Kelly that Sunday night. I was talking to him all, all Monday morning when Zazi was apprehended. And it was because of this program. I just want to let our viewers know we popped up General Alexander there because we are listening to him as well. They're just doing sort of opening uh, hellos and so on. Remember, this is a previously scheduled hearing on something else. When they get to the meat of the NSA uh, matter, we'll go there. P uh, Congressman King, back to you now. So I just want to clarify then. Do you think that Glenn Greenwald should be prosecuted for what's been released so far? I think you probably aren't causing much controversy if you're just talking about this guy potentially going out there and revealing names of covert agents ac across the well, world and compromising their security and their lives. But what about for what he's done so far? I would say it should certainly be considered. The reason I say that is it's putting American lives at risk. This is clearly done, I believe, to hurt Americans. And uh, to allow this to go on untraveled, to me, it's going to have great consequences for the United States. But I'm tying the two together. That, to me, shows his motivation. I want to get to that, because you can't go after a reporter under the Espionage Act, which is what I assume you're thinking about, uh, unless the purpose of the disclosure is to hurt the United States of America. And that's, as you point out, you know, why nine times out of ten, in fact, really mm -hmm. ten times out of ten over the past 60 years or so, we don't go after reporters because they're, they're not trying to hurt America. They're, they're just trying to report uh, news. But what would be the proof that this guy's trying to hurt America? I think Glenn Greenwald would say, I was trying to help America. Well, first of all, he's not. And secondly, the very fact that he says, to me, what shows his intent is when him saying that he's threatening to release the name of CIA agents. There's no way that helps the United States. And that, to me, shows his motivation. Before I let you go, what do you